Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Outlook on the Web environment has been designed to be easily accessible to everyone who uses it. The nav bar across the top of the page contains icons to access some of the features available in Outlook on the Web. Within the nav bar you will find the App Launcher which appears as a nine dot grid at the top left of the screen and will contain icons for all of the available Office 365 applications. You can click the app launcher and then click any icon to be taken to that application within Office 365. The settings icon displayed as a gear will open up a list of options for you to control the settings of Outlook on the web and other Office 365 settings. You will find the most commonly used settings at the top of the list. You can also scroll down the list to see settings for changing the theme of Office 365, setting notifications options, and links that will allow you to access the setting menus for different parts of Office 365. The Help icon, which is displayed as a question mark, allows you to access the Help menu. You can view the privacy and legal terms for Office 365 and Outlook on the web, and also access the Microsoft Support Community. You will also be able to leave feedback and access the Suggestion box where you can give Microsoft suggestions for changes. You can click on your avatar or profile picture at the far right corner of the nav bar to see commands that will allow you to sign out of Outlook on the web, sign into or out of IM, open another mailbox, and it also contains an About Me link. This section will also display your availability when signed into IM or instant messaging. The color of the icon displayed on the lower right of the avatar will reflect your availability. You can also pin up to three app shortcuts on the nav bar. To pin a shortcut to the nav bar, you can click the app launcher and then click the more dots that appear in the right corner of any icon. Select pin to nav bar or in this instance unpin from nav bar because the icon is already pinned to the nav bar. The icon for that app will then be displayed to the left of the Skype for Business icon. Any new notifications will display as a number on the bell icon to the left of the settings icon. When new mail is received, an alert tone will sound and a small pop-up box will momentarily appear below the avatar, depending on your chosen notification settings. You will also find the Skype for Business icon within the nav bar. You can click this button to launch Skype for Business and use instant messaging right from Outlook on the web or access an online meeting. The Folders section will contain the default folders for Outlook on the web and any folders you have set as favorite. You will use this section to access all of the folders that contain your messages. The Groups section will display any groups you have created, are a member of, or have favorited. This will allow you access to the conversations and files you are sharing within your groups. The Inbox pane will display the contents of the selected folder within the folders section. Clicking any of the folders will display their contents in the inbox pane.
Above the inbox pane, you will see commands there that are available to you to work with the selected emails in the inbox pane. You can click the new link to start a new outgoing email message. You can search your emails and contacts by entering your search term in the search mail and people search box directly above the folders section. Start typing to see a list of suggestions that match what you have typed. If you see what you are searching for, you can simply click a suggestion to search your mail and contacts. If you don't see what you are looking for, you can click the Enter key on your keyboard or the magnifying glass icon to start a full search. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.